exploring the unknown, blazing new trails, a reflection of the spirit of Israel, forging new realities in an ancient land. For biochemist Ellie Lewis, going beyond the bounds of the familiar is a way of life. As he sees it, curiosity and dedication will transform these barren surroundings. Physically, this is the exact center of Israel, and this is actually, I think, where Israel is going to be. This is where it's going to expand into. To the Negev, to Beersheba, to this place, where talented minds seek the knowledge that can change our world. This is Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, reaching out to the future. In this center of research excellence, Ellie Lewis and his students in the Faculty of Health Sciences are looking for a solution to one of medicine's most vexing problems, diabetes. Dr. Lewis may be on the verge of a breakthrough, an innovative method for transplanting healthy insulin-producing cells into the diabetic pancreas. Providing a healthy pancreas to a diabetic patient actually cures diabetes. It corrects the diabetic state. His students from BGU's Medical School for International Health, a collaboration with Columbia University, are gaining hands-on research experience. One is gaining even more. He has diabetes. I was told when I was diagnosed, um, I guess it was 18 years ago now, that there would be a cure in the next 10 years, and uh, it still hasn't happened. You know, the opportunity to work on something like this is it, it's great. The university is creating knowledge, giving knowledge, and advancing research and medicine towards a better world. Creating a better world begins very close to home. Just beyond the BGU campus, Beersheva still suffers from lingering pockets of poverty. Change begins with education. The university and its students are committed to making a difference. Ben Gurion University is kind of community. Everybody supports everyone, everybody knows everyone, and it feels good. Like many students, Shosh Kasai spends hours each week working with children. She receives free university housing in return for her involvement. Today, she's tutoring Sophie, the child of immigrants from the former Soviet Union. Shosh's family came to Israel from Ethiopia during the secret airlifts of the 1980s, when tens of thousands of rural villagers confronted the challenges of modern life. She was lucky. As a child, she was taken under the wing of Ben Gurion students in the same program she's now taking part in as a mentor. For me, it's kind of a way to give back. Uh, it's kind of a closing circle. Along with her university studies, Shosh is reaching out to people and receiving an education in life. Ben Gurion University is a platform for educational excellence. Its outstanding faculties and facilities attract talented students, teachers, and researchers from Israel and the world. Virology researcher Leslie Lobel left behind a prestigious position in New York to continue his career in the Negev. This is the kind of place where you can create your dream. After the tragic events of 9-11, Dr. Lobel was determined to safeguard Israel and its allies. At BGU, he launched a pioneering project aimed at neutralizing the threat of biological weapons. I think it was a time in my life where I felt I needed to do something that would have a greater impact on the world. But when his study of viral terror weapons brought him to Africa, he came face to face with the suffering of people afflicted by lethal disease. Today he's helping them in the struggle for a healthier life. This will help bring BGU to the forefront of universities around the world that are actually doing world-class research to help the third world. In many important fields, the world looks to Ben-Gurion University for answers. In the vast arid regions of southern Israel, Dr. Ofer Dahan of the Zuckerberg Institute for Water Research at BGU's Jacob Blaustein Institutes for Desert Research investigates how winter floodwaters are stored underground. 
We installed a special set of probe that we have developed in the Ben Gurion University that allows to uh, visualize the infiltrating water from the moment the flood hits the surface all the way down, tracking it all the way to the groundwater. Groundwater resources are the key to Israel's bountiful desert agriculture. Dr. Dahan discovered that earlier conservation methods, like the construction of floodwater reservoirs, had failed. Even in places with abundant rainfall, the threat of pollution makes groundwater a crucial source for drinking and irrigation. So the university shares its knowledge with visiting researchers and students. Israelis are world leaders when it comes to agriculture and desert facilities as well as groundwater. Um, they're miles ahead. If you look at desalination as well, they really are world leaders in that. The knowledge I've gained here is really fantastic. The quest for knowledge. It attracts curious minds from near and far to campuses in Beersheva, Stable Care, and Eilat, bringing Ben Gurion University of the Negev worldwide recognition. How do we recognize the people and things around us? How do our brains process visual information? Those questions are under study by cognitive neuroscience researcher Galia Avidan. We want to understand where in the brain our behavior emerges. My specific research is related to understanding how our visual system actually perceives the world. How can we understand what is it that we're looking at? These innovative brain studies go beyond pure science, dealing with real-world visual recognition problems that affect millions of people. The opportunity to work in Ben-Gurion University's cutting-edge research facilities lured Galia Avidan back to Israel from job opportunities abroad. That and something more. This is where my home is, this is where my family is, this is where I want to contribute, and this is where I should be. A university that attracts the best and the brightest, reaching out to its neighbors with education, opportunities, and an improved quality of life. We have made a huge transformation in terms of education and health and welfare in the community of the Negev. And what we are now trying is to bring our experience and our spirit and our wish to really improve life of people wherever they are, to bring it from the Negev to the world. This is a very special university on a very special mission. This is Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, reaching out to the future.